Hi guys, Ryu here with Navid for Blender and this one is gonna be about baking low poly details to high poly details from multiple objects into one map. Just a quick one before we start guys, we are on Patreon as Blender Bros together with Josh, so if you would like to support us, have a look, link in the video description. Three tiers, a lot of cool stuff, every month tutorials, you know, critiques, decals, all kinds of stuff for people who use add-ons, don't use add-ons for everyone. And thanks so much to everyone who's supporting us. You guys are awesome. Cheers. I'm a bit under the weather, guys, so it might seem a bit, you know, off today. Don't feel too well, but uh, here we go, recording a video for you guys. So anyway, um, what we're going to do is, uh, you know, like I said, bake these high poly details to low poly. And you can see that I have two objects, right? Separate objects. You got uh, this high poly and this low poly. So you know the only difference is this indent these indentations, right? The uh, booleans. So anyway, uh, let me show you the um, the UVs, right? So before we start, screencast keys. Where was it? UV editing. That's the one. Now, if I'm gonna go to UVs, right? Um, you, what you want is to unwrap them both into the same space. So you know, um, let's just do that, right? So let's. Uh, clean this i don't know so let's uh let's open this uv editing and uh, you know i'm just gonna unwrap them simply and you should get something like this now important part is to note right that they're really close to one another and if you're gonna have some um, details running uh, over these you know over the mesh it's very possible that the data is gonna spill and it's gonna encroach on the other on the island that they're not supposed to be there. And since you know these islands are shuffled, right? You know some detail that runs here could appear, uh, you know, somewhere on the bottom. You're gonna have like a weird shading problem. So what you wanna do is go to um, packing. Uh, where is this thing here? And you wanna change the the margin here. And I think um, what I, I was playing with it a little bit, and the one I came up with was. 0.05 something like that it's not very efficient i know but you know it just makes a point right that you know you need some buffers between these islands right? and it should be fine now in order to bake this bugger right what we need is an image to bake it into so we're gonna click on new and we're gonna title it uh barrel youtube and we're going to go with um 496 and 496 um 4k is good guys it's okay if you if you're running you know one or maximum two materials on the object you should be fine with a higher resolution the the problem is not the resolution really the problem is number of draw calls meaning the number of uh, objects or materials on the object okay uh, that's usually what stresses the graphic card so if you have one material with multiple textures that's fine so anyway um select this 32 bit and click OK. You don't really need alpha, but you know, we can just keep it, doesn't matter. And in under image, you need to go to um, non-color data. That's important because, uh, you know, it's a normal map. So I'm going to split this window here and go to shader editor because what we need is a material. Okay, so I'm just going to delete this rubbish. And in fact, uh, in fact, you know what, we could just Purge all the mats as well. So let me just uh, go to Orphan Data and. Oh, we don't have it. Fascinating. Images, brushes. Okay. So now we're going to add material here, right? Just a regular BSDF mat. I'm going to make it a bit darker so it's going to stand out in after the bake, make it metallic. And the same with this one. So simply, you know, select this, shift select this one and copy. So we got the same mod going on this one, right? Now what we need to do is add image texture so we can, you know, bake this information from here into image texture and link it, link it to the node. So it's actually displays on the low poly. So image texture and grab it in here. And we're going to link this image in here. So blend, uh, barrel YouTube and you don't have to really do anything here. Non-color data is fine. Now, what I usually do is uh, I add a vector and normal map because we're gonna have to connect it anyway. Uh, the only thing is that if you connect it too early, um, you're gonna get just kind of a bit weird shading on the object, okay? Like this, right? So you know you don't have to do it now. But anyway, that's how you connect it. You know the normal map that's gonna get baked right now. Uh, let's go back to our scene, okay? 
and that's not this one uh view layers there we go and uh we're going to disable the top and enable the base high poly and low poly so this is really important yeah um they need to be exactly the same okay i mean even the bevels all right and modifiers preferably applied okay and uh it's, it's really important if you're gonna have difference in bevels for example you, you might you might get problems and weird shading so <clears throat> so really uh they should be identical and you know they should be occupying the same space so the best way to go about it is to create low poly first and then start adding details to it so then you end up with exactly the same object i know many people do it the other way around but they're full of shit so unless you're doing a character modeling that's different but if you're doing hard surface you should do low poly first and then just add details and then you got a perfect bake and you know, or close to perfect because you know perfect bakes don't exist just like women so um, high poly and click uh, control click on low poly base and then uh, go here and uh, we need to set up our render settings okay so first of all um, one render I mean one sample is fine you don't need more than that because it's a it's a you bake in a normal map so you know it doesn't matter a uh, GPU computer of course and then go to bake settings and in here we need to switch to normal and uh, select it to active because what we do is we bake in select it to active okay so low poly is active right now this is important you need uh, some kind of a buffer here okay some kind of a buffer that basically if you hover your mouse over this tooltip here i mean over this option you see a tooltip that basically what it does it inflates the the low poly mesh and allows the low, high poly to bake it onto the low poly okay so this is a kind of like a caging thing but you gotta you get an option to add cage meaning you could simply grab the low poly uh, copy it and simply you know uh, extrude it uh, i mean uh, um, scale it up on normals and create slightly bigger item now i can show you shifty and just select everything in alt s and just scale it a little bit up yeah so just scale it a little bit up just tiny bit like that yeah and you could use it as a cage but in this case i don't think we need it so again select this one control select this one and i think we should be fine i think we should be fine ray distance i'm gonna leave it at zero we could put zero one you know something like this this could be all right and let's try to bake this right Okay, and there you go. Very clean bake. Right? Looks peachy. So, that's one. Now, in order to bake a high poly into the low poly, right? What you need to do is select the top, right? So, both of them. And then you need to save the image, right? So, go here and save as. And I'm going to save it on desktop, you know, like that, right? And then under bake settings, this is important, right? You need to uncheck the clear image. Otherwise, if you bake it, everything's going to get erased. Okay. So now we're going to bake this one. So select the top, select, I mean, select the top high poly, top low poly, and literally run bake again. So, you know, bake, right? Boom. And you see now you got these, uh, 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 the, the, uh, the details added on top, right? So if I now enable uh, the low poly, right? Both of them and go to edit mode and show you um, show you the uh, uh, the faces right you can see uh, you can see where you know where all the all the um, normal maps I mean all, all the details are sorry guys I'm I'm a bit unfocused today because I'm a bit sick and don't feel too well so I'm a bit all over the place with my mind difficult to focus anyway um, so now we're gonna plug this in right this this node we're gonna plug it in to this material and since the material is shared so it's the same one for both of them it's going to affect them both so watch this i'm going to plug it in and boom All right and now you got the normal map running on both you know on both items at the same time right so there you go that's how you do it and um that's how you uh that's how you create a normal map for two objects you know uh in a one sheet of texture well, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the vid. Look in my video description. There are links to all kinds of really cool add-ons that I'm using every day. 
in this video well we didn't use any add-ons but uh, uh but we might in the next one so there you go uh thanks for watching catch you in the next video